Hi guys, Carl here down at Sunshine Sailing Australia. This is another episode of Cruising with Carl. I hope you enjoy it. G'day everyone, uh, we're talking berthing and we're talking uh, in this segment about how we use wind uh, to our advantage when we come into the berth. So let's get into it. Okay, before we get started, um, a vessel just left to its own accord in the wind will the bow will fall away from it and that's kind of an important thing for us to know as we come into a berth. So here we are, we've got wind blowing uh, us onto, this is our berth here, so this wind direction is coming through the marina this way. It's blowing a vessel that was just sitting here idle onto uh, this dock here. Uh, and that'll be true with the wind from this general direction. So anywhere kind of like this, it's going to be pushing a vessel on. Uh, so look, this is a pretty easy one. It's a pretty safe one because any boat sitting here will just sit up against its own dock. Um, so the only thing we've really got to be conscious of is that if we were to come down this way and approach with the wind, whether that's bow first or if we were operating a stern, going stern in. If we were to come this way with the wind, we're combining momentum and wind force, and that gives us the potential, if that breeze is kind of anywhere from 10 knots and over, even possibly five knots if the marine is open enough, but that, that kind of doubling of, of momentum gives us the potential to land pretty hard against this dock as we come in and turn in. So for this, wind from this direction, our approach, whether that be bow first or stern first, is going to be against the wind, up and in, stoppers in there and let us settle against the dock. The only thing, uh, whether we're going bow or stern in, operating against the wind, is if we end up in the dock somewhat like uh, in the in the berth, somewhat like this, with our stern off, the bow will blow away first, and that can mean that the bow lands on here for onto the dock first before the stern. So as you come in, you want to get the stern up and in, and then let the bow settle against. Same with bow in. We want to come in. We want to turn the stern on, and then let the and then let the bow settle against the dock. scenario uh, we want to come up against the wind again so we want to approach from this direction um, and that could be bow or stern first either way is completely fine and we want to carry uh, enough momentum here that it will allow us to push up against the wind as we turn in and up onto our dock we don't want to overdo it um, just enough that you need to get the job done really uh, the only thing we need to be concerned about with this kind of approach is that a vessel sitting stationary in here without any mooring lines on would push off onto the vessel next to it. So when we get our vessel in here, we need to carry enough that we can get a line secured onto uh, the dock, preferably a bow and a stern line, but if we can only get one line, um, then uh, we need to know how we're going to hold the boat up against uh, our dock. We're going to go into that. Uh, once we get onto mooring and securing and the primary line and how we can hold ourselves in. But uh, again, the approach here is pretty straightforward in this scenario. Against the breeze, turn up and in, and get the boat up on the dock so people can step off and moor uh, the vessel to the berth, to the dock. And uh, finally, we've got wind blowing us uh, this way through the marina, um, into our berth, or this way through the marina, out of our berth. Either of these uh, two scenarios are pretty straightforward for us as well. Um, we, the only thing we really need to be uh, concerned about is if that's quite a strong breeze and, and we've decided to approach, um, we'll, we'll generally we'll approach from, the, uh, from this way if we're coming into a berth like this so we can carry momentum in and that's whether the wind's going this way or uh, pushing us out same kind of approach um, and what we'd want to do here is if if that wind's quite strong having the bow into it and not getting the vessel secure gives the potential for the boat to kind of blow away now that won't be a concern if the wind's kind of from this angle it'll help blow it on but if it's slightly this way and quite strong 
um, then you might need to reconsider which way you decide to go into the birth. It may be better uh, to come in bow first in, in that kind of strong scenario because once you get the vessel secure here, uh, it will just blow the nose away, so there's no risk of the nose blowing off on, onto another boat if you can't offset that offset that strong breeze. But once you've got a stern line on here, the boat will sit pretty nicely um, in the berth, pretty comfortably in the berth. If you've got a lot of windage that may uh, and there's too much uh, wind blowing, then that might give your boat a bit of speed, so you've got to make sure your motors can kind of hold you off against it, um, and that might be different if you're on a catamaran. Um, so if the wind's blowing this way, by the same token, if we were to come in in reverse, get a stern line on, we would be pretty safe here. Um, it would just blow our nose down. If we came in bow, bow first um, and we didn't kind of get secured quickly enough and that wind was stretched quite strong and has the potential to blow us off, but you'd really just want to get a bow line on first in that, in that scenario. Okay, so that's, uh, that's it for how we use wind. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, as always, you can find more information in the link and please feel free to comment and ask us any questions. Yachting is one of those things that's got many different variables in it, different types of boats, different conditions. Uh, so we'd love to hear your experience as well and any of your own tips and we'll include those in the videos. Thanks again and until next time.